All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Now, many of us weren't on or wasn't here last Wednesday. However, 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 <laughs> we're, we're not going to we're not going to look down at that because I believe we should have gotten a hold to everybody that they should have read Galatians three by now, isn't that right? That's yeah, correct. I read it. Amen. Amen. Okay. That's correct. All right. So everybody's read Galatians three. Now I, nope. I am aware nope. that I have to finish some teaching uh, from Sunday. However, let's keep this Bible study off. Um, there was something there in Galatians. There was something there in Galatians 3. Okay? And I wanted you all to, I hope you, you picked it out. Some of you, I even gave you a hint. I told you about where it was. So I'm going to ask this question and, and uh, I'm going to give everybody an opportunity just one by one. I'm going to give you an opportunity. I'm going to ask this question. Did you happen to read where about the law was it for, was it for the Gentiles? Yes. Did anybody yes. happen to read it? Yes. Yes. I'm going to ask that again. Did anybody happen to read it? Yes. Okay, no. okay, okay. Now, oh. now with, with saying that, now you happen to read it. What does that really mean? If the law, first of all, are we in agreement that the law, we're talking about the Decalogue, we're talking about the Ten Commandments, and, and then all the other 623 yeah. laws that, that, that the priest and man <laughs> added to it. Are we in agreement with that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're in agreement with it. All right, all right. We, we, we cut it up now. We're we moving with steam. So I have a question to ask. If the law wasn't, if it was for Israel, who are we? We are Abraham's seed. Okay, 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 that, okay, okay, we're Abraham C. All right, you're down a little bit further. I, I, I hear you, woman of God. I hear you. Okay, we're Abraham C. But as it relates to Paul that he's talking in, in Galatians, and I want everybody to look at this, where Paul is actually talking in Galatians, who would we fall under? Gentiles. Now, now, let's forget about Abraham C. Now, we know that we're Abraham C. Okay, we do know that. Okay. We ever have seen. But he speaks specifically about Israel and Gentile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which one would we be? Gentiles. Gentiles. Y'all oh, sure about that? Y'all sure? Yeah. That's what the Bible say, right? Mm -hmm. So y'all know I'm going to come with another question. Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Well, what are you guys reading that we always try to uphold the law? <laughs> Say that again. Why on God's green earth are we always trying to uphold the law? Mm. Oh, 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 oh. The law. Well, well it, the the law that was given should really just be a guide, right, um, for Christian that, living. It's it's not the it's not mm. what we're under. It's a guide to show us, and oh, so therefore. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Oh, hold on, hold on, Sister Lawson. Now, it, oh, because that's it. Now, now, I hear what you're saying. I know what you're saying you're speaking from the aspect of the law being the schoolmaster. I understand it. Yeah. But, but, now, but listen to this. It was a schoolmaster for Israel. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now we're Gentiles. Yeah. We didn't have, we didn't we don't have a covenant. No. Now, now look, I, I'm sitting you all down in the context. Of Galatians 3. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to, to, to look at how Paul was addressing the church of Galatians. Mm -hmm. So I'm sending you down. Yes, I'm truly, I'm sending you down. And I want you to understand that he's, you got Gentiles out here, okay, that were not of Israel. 
Mm -hmm. and, and he's coming with this com commentary. He's coming with this teaching, you all. And he's saying, and, and this is the beauty of it. He said that the law was for Israel, but it was only for it. It really wasn't even designed for Israel. First of all, the only reason that, is, that the law came was because Israel wasn't, that they no longer was in communication with God. Correct. So he goes on to say, it's good until the seed comes. Mm -hmm. All right? Y'all with me? That's right. Until Jesus, that's right. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I wish y'all were here. Well, I wish I could put this on it because I would need two people I would need two people. Just imagine you got two people in front of you. And when God, because I, I want you, you need to go to um, Genesis 12 and 1. Everybody go to Genesis 12 and 1 right quick, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to show you something. To what, and this is how we can understand what Paul is saying. Because Paul is pulling everything from here, from Genesis 12 and 1. Everything that you're reading in Galatians 3, he's pulling it from Genesis 12. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, why this important? Because I'm going to show you uh, just what Jesus said. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. It's easy. The church has become a burden and it never supposed to be a burden. It's not supposed to be a burden, but we make it a burden. And Jesus said, this is, a, this is how, I, how I intended church to be. Everything that Jesus came and he taught, did you all notice that he said, I come to bring life, I come to bring life? Mm -hmm. He said, I didn't even come to judge, I didn't even come to condemn. Mm -hmm. Well, why are we doing it? Hmm. Why do we judge and condemn? I'll tell you why. Because we're holding on to the law. But then we're saying we're saved by grace. You can't be both. We're holding on the law. Which the law could not save. Yep. But then we're still we're holding on to grace. Yeah. But we're holding mm -hmm. on to the law. But then we're holding on to grace. Mm -hmm. right. So which one is it going to be? Because Paul right. said, if you can't even, if you can't even uh if you if you miss one portion of the law, yes, you miss yes, it. You miss it up all. And right. Jesus knew that man could not uphold the law. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He knew that. So he said, I'm going to come and I'm going to take that away. Mm -hmm. And the law is not faith. So everybody can hear. Hold on one second. Can we get a mic down here so everybody can hear? Yeah. So that way, if anybody needs to uh, say something, because we want everyone to be able to hear. Mm -hmm. Now give us a second. We have a. Uh, Oh, yes. Oh, yes, y'all. This is going to be, this is exciting. Mm -hmm. I would love for you, after this, the, 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 uh, if all is well tonight, after this teaching at some level, I, I expect us to just fly and go wherever that we're going that a burden would be lifted. Because that's what Jesus did. He came to lift the burden mm -hmm. of condemnation, the okay. burden of judgment. Mm -hmm. okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna understand it totally. Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna say um, what I learned um, part of this was that in verse ten, it talks about those who rely on the works of the law are cursed. Um, in verse 11, no one who relies on the law is justified by God. And the righteous will live by faith. So it's through faith in Jesus Christ that we are being justified, that we may receive the inheritance mm -hmm. of Abraham. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's why. Yeah. Amen. Just what you see right there. Okay, now, now is everybody in uh, Genesis twelve? Because it's right there that I, that I was. You thank you. 
You made it just that simple for me. Genesis 12, I'm going to tell you, and this is why in Galatians, it speaks about how a covenant can't be annulled. Did y'all read that? Okay. All right. Look at what it says. This is the, the covenant or the blessing of Abraham that fell on us. This is, this is the blessing, the covenant that still stands, that could not be annulled. Could not be. All right? Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at what it mm -hmm. says. And I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee. I'll make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Well, this is what it says. And I will bless them that bless thee, curse him that curse thee, and in thee all the families of the earth will be blessed. So now the blessing of Abraham, that's what it was. It was about blessing. <laughs> this is the purpose of Jesus to bless. Now, notice he said, I'm only going to disregard them that disregard them. That's what curse. He said, I'm not going to curse them. That curse of or disregard them. I'm going to be the one. Only if they disregard you from being who I designed you to be. Mm -hmm. That's to make it wrong right there. Look at it now. He says, I didn't come to put a weight on your shoulder. Th that's not what I came to do. I, I came to give you life that you can have it more abundant. So when he's sitting down and he's talking to the Galatian church, they had a problem. And that problem started off that they found the spirit by faith. Mm -hmm. But then they try to perfect it with the flesh. With the law. There you go, with the law. By, by doing what the law said. But you found the spirit by faith. He says, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I got to clarify something here. And that's when he began to break it down. This is when he began to talk about Abraham. This is why he talks about the Gentile having no covenant. And the only reason that Israel had a covenant for the law, it was only until the seed came. Mm -hmm. they, if they had been like Abraham had been a friend of God, if they had a representative, if they had a listen for God and did what God told them to do, then there would have been no need. There would have been no need for the law. Mm -hmm. Amen. But because the relationship, that was a relationship problem. Somebody say it was an inside problem. An inside, inside, inside problem. problem. Yes, it was an inside problem. Because they weren't one with the law. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Now y'all watch this. Now this is going to make you. <laughs> now y'all listen to this. Now this is going to bless you. Abraham. It was imputed because Abraham believed God. He did not to give righteousness. We can't hear you. Something happened to your mic. Oh, it. Uh huh. There you go. You fade in and out. But look, look, hold on. Let me try to do this right here. Okay, now we got it. You got it. Okay. We All got right, it now. now. Okay, here it is. He told Abraham, "Watch this." Abraham believed God and it was imputed to him to be righteous. Righteousness was imputed. It was counted to him for righteousness. But now watch this. Because we're under the blood. Because we're, we're believed the finished work of the cross. We're not imputed righteous. Mm. Did, did you see the difference? It's not counted to us as righteous. We are the righteousness of God. What, 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 how can you say that, Pastor? Well, because I, 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 I don't do things right all the time. He didn't expect you to do things right all the time. But when your mind, your will, your emotions, your attitude, when you understand that you are a son of God, when you accept 
the finished work of the cross, when you accept what Jesus did, look at this now, and I want y'all to hear me wait. He gave you his name. Hmm. Mm -hmm. God missed the opportunity to shout. <laughs> Listen mm -hmm. to me. His name is greater than anything. Watch this. Because your name is now written in the heavens that his name is attached to yours. Mm -hmm. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. You're seated in heavenly places, Ephesians 1. Mm -hmm. Okay? So there's a difference. We have the righteousness of God. Okay? We live from him. Okay. I feel a holy hush. Mm. <laughs> oh, I feel a holy hush. But we listen, we're we, we, we gonna walk this word tonight. Yeah, we gotta walk this word. Go to second Corinthians. Here we go again. Second Corinthians. Okay. Your mic is still fading out. Uh This thing will fade. The mic in my hand. About oh. mic again. Are you? Do you have that lapel mic on? I do. He does. It's not active. Mike. Pull it. Yes, not. Push it up a little bit. Yeah. The bell don't want me to get this word out. Snap it a little bit. Snap. Oh, Second Corinthians. Can y'all hear me now? Yes. No, that's devil. Mm -hmm. Hey, dude, and I was going to try to turn the mic. Hold the, the little microphone up higher a little bit. Move it up higher? Yeah. Take my little difficulties. Uh, you come you all bear with me for we'll a moment. Hold it for like another hour. Nothing but the devil. And I'm like ready. Can you okay. Is that better? Absolutely. Right now, it sounds good. Right now, it sounds good. Okay. See, I think I'm going to have to be a lecturer tonight. <laughs> I don't know I can't do that. Yeah, okay, yeah. but I'm going to do it for tonight. It's, okay. uh, it's good. Okay. I'm going to make one word. <laughs> sounds good. All right, sounds good. All right, so look, go to 2 Corinthians uh, 5 and 15. That's in Corinthians 5 and 15. Yeah, let's start at 14. And I'm going to show you all something. You can see. He wants us to be free. And, and, I, and I'm going to clarify this because I don't want anybody to feel that this gives you a credit card to do wrong. Let me say that first of all. I'm not teaching that you can do whatever you want to do. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, but I'm trying to show you that it's the goodness of God that brings man to repentance. Mm -hmm. Romans 2 and 4, that's what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to show it to you here. All right, here it is. Look at this. For the love of Christ constrained us because we thus judge that if one died for all, then all were dead. 15 says, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto. Unto, if you notice, it's, it should be italicized. So it's those that live from. The transliteration is from themselves. It says that we should not, we should henceforth not live from ourselves or from themselves, but from him which died for thee and rose again. You see that? This is how we can be the righteousness of God. Because we live from him. How do we live from him? Because the finished work of the cross, we saw that in, the, in Ephesians, that he superimposed blessings upon us. Y'all remember that? In Bible study where I showed that to you? Where that, that unto, that word epi? He superimposed in the, when the finished work of the cross. When, when he was in the belly of the earth and, 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 and he had died, he was doing that so we can have his righteousness that we can live from. We can be the righteousness of God and we can be the blessing of God. 
This is how we're able to walk in the blessing of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I was going to say because we justify um, the Christ has justified us and um, when I looked that up it says just, justifying is to be is, is to be declared or made righteous in the sight of God absolutely absolutely <clears throat> and that's what he did that's what he listen that's what he did he had to make you innocent. This is what redemption is. He bought, he bought everything that you did, even though you wouldn't even do it. Mm -hmm. He bought it. It's, a, it's redemption, I told you before, is an accounting term. He closed your books. You don't owe anything. Book God. Glory to him. You don't owe anything. Now, here's the key. But you got to always be in remembrance of this. That you've been baptized in this man. Y'all walk away. <coughs> Understand what I'm saying? You've been baptized in his name. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you. We read it all the time. But we... That I think not fully understanding it. And I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show you the, the, the correct transliteration of it. But you you carry the name. You wonder why I call you men and women of God? Mm -hmm. Because you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you are. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you gotta you gotta always remember. That if you're a man and you're a woman of God, you have the right to everything, listen, to receive his results, to look like him, and sound like him. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Show it to you. Show it to you. Show it to you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to Matthew 28, the Great Commission, as many would declare it. Let's look at 18, that'll be 28 and 18. Do anybody have any questions? Because we're going to get back to the fact, because I'm trying to establish where Paul was when he was talking to Galatia, to the church there, and what he's trying to, how he's trying to get them away from being performance-based believers. Mm. Yeah. Okay? Because that's what the law was. Mm -hmm. It didn't say anything about your heart as long as you did the performance. You you know, I was studying that, and what it was saying is that if that were the case, then if it what it's basically saying is if we said if it's satisfied by the law, then that would mean that salvation could be earned, and we know it can't be. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Thank you, woman. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See, that's glory right there. That's glory. We can't earn nothing. Mm -mm. Jesus would be alive his whole life. There would be no gospel. Look at what it says. 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power, and this is important, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Now remember this. He told you, whatever you bind on, y'all remember that? He said, I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom. Y'all remember that? He said, whatever you bind on, earth, you bind on, whatever you lose on, you lose on heaven. So now, because he's on the other side of the grave, he says, all power is given to him. Now, he got the keys. Hmm. Did y'all catch that then? <laughs> he's got the keys. See, before he told me, <laughs> he said, uh, 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 upon this rock, I'll build the church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And he said, I will give you the keys <laughs> to the king. Now, y'all, see, we got to rightly divide this word. He says, and I will give you the keys. See, he didn't have the keys then because he did not. He didn't redeem us. He hadn't redeemed us yet. 
See, the enemy, the enemy still had the keys that Adam gave him. Walking with him. Yes. So he says he, he he's foreshadowing, he's prophesying to be. He said, and I will give you the keys to the king that whatever you bind on earth, mm -hmm. I will bind you in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth, I will loose them in heaven. Now look, look at what he said. All power is given unto me in what? In heaven. Heaven and earth. And oh my God. Y'all got it now. Now watch this. Y'all ready to go further? Let's go deeper. And so he says, go ye to the born again believer. Okay. He says, go ye therefore and teach. First thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to teach all nations. Okay. Now this is based on you being a born again believer. Baptizing them <laughs> in the name. Mm. That's a baptism. Right. Yeah. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. Baptizing yeah. them. Amen. Now look, we got to break down name. That's right. Write this down. Name Onoma. Onoma in the Greek means nature, character, and authority. Right. Did y'all catch it? Mm -hmm. Listen, he yeah. says baptizing them in the nature. In the character and authority of the Father, in the nature, the character, and the authority of the Son, the nature, character, and authority of the Holy Ghost. See, listen, we have to remember that we have the nature, the character, and the authority That's right. of the Father, the nature, character, and authority of the Father, the nature, character, and authority of the Son. Nature, character, authority of all you carry in his name. Right. So your mind, your will, your emotion, your <laughs> attitude right. should always reflect mm. the nature, mm. the character, right. the authority. See, because this is where we fall short. We fall short because in a glimpse of a moment, we're not operating in the name. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because right. listen, because for that moment, that moment that you lay down your religion, <laughs> oh Lord, mm -hmm. it's good that you lay down your religion. That's right. Because Jesus came to establish mm -hmm. a relationship. Mm -hmm. So thank God you laid That's down right. religion because he ain't come to do that anyway. He came to establish a relationship. Mm -hmm. And even when you lay down your religion, he's still love. Even when you get out of character, he still loves you. He said, okay. you still mine. Because once you are in the fuck, nobody can pluck you out of my hand. Okay. Because you're a born again believer. And you're walking in my name. Okay. You got my nature. And see, that's what the law could not do. Yes. Couldn't say. Yes. The law couldn't make you righteous. Okay. It was holy. And it was just according to scripture. But it couldn't say it. Why? Because in order for us to walk in his name, y'all ready? The Holy Spirit had to be released. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. He says that I'm going to leave you a comforter. Mm -hmm. Just like me in every detail, but not me. He's me, but he's not me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be sent by the Father, but he's speaking every detail that gives you the authority in this dimension. Oh, my God. He says, I'm going to give you a thought okay. in this dimension. Look at me now. Y'all got to understand this. He says, whatever you bind here on earth, I'm trying to tell you, yeah. you have the authority to cancel the assignment okay. That the enemy is putting against our bodies, coming against our families, coming against the church, we have that authority. Yes. yes. Now, I'm going to tell you this right here. Mm -hmm. That's what the blessing of Abraham did. Uh, mm -hmm. Isn't that powerful? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you didn't have to do anything to earn. All you had to do is to believe. 
See, he did the work. And I think Sister Lofton said it best. And, and, and Sister V said it best. Sister said it like this right here. You may earn it. Work, work, works is done. Because what happens, I'm going to tell you what happens with works. Y'all ready? You get puffed up. Mm -hmm. You get that, to beat in the chest. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not like the Levites. <laughs> I pray 20 times a day. I don't eat meat. I am a holy man. You know, you puff, you beat your chest <laughs> as if you are God's first cousin. Mm. Mm. But he's simply saying, look, what I did for you. See, can anybody sit here and say that you did something to obtain this righteousness? No. Mm. Glory to God. No. It's nothing that you could have done. Right. Amen. This right here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Think about when Jesus was getting ready to get baptized. Giving all this commentary. And this is what John the Baptist was saying. He says, Behold mm -hmm. the Lamb of God who comes okay. to take the sins of the world. Mm -hmm. now, I'm going to take you quickly back into the Old Testament when they were giving. Okay, because Jesus, he can't not. Look, he was an Old Testament prophet. Okay, I want y'all to know that he was an Old Testament prophet. Okay? That was sprinkling the principles of the New Testament. And John, John says that if he spoke of himself, he didn't preach the gospel. It says if he spoke of himself, then his record wouldn't be true. Do y'all remember seeing that? I mean, yes. y'all need to see it? Let me know now. If you need to see it, we'll go get it. You need to get it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get it. 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 What you see? John Let me get it. I'm going to go get it. <laughs> yeah, John 5 31. For those that have the KJV, I'm going to receive that it's in red letter, which means that it's Jesus speaking. John 5 31. Now, now I, I want us to start at 28 because I got to lay the foundation even on this, okay? I want us to understand. He says, marvel not at this. Marvel not at this. For the hour is coming in thee which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Mm -hmm. I can of my own self do nothing as I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. Watch this. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. Jesus did not come preaching the gospel. His life was the gospel. Mm. And if he had yeah. been preaching about himself, notice what the Bible says. He says it wouldn't be true. Y'all see that, right? right? It wouldn't be true. So look at what he did, what he came to do. Y'all ready for this? Jesus came to show you who the Father was. Mm. And the mm. Holy Spirit 
He released came to show you who Jesus was. Ah! Oh my God, I'm about to run. Y'all, that right there just went all through my body. He told, listen, he told, he told, he told Philip. He said, Philip asked, what, 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 who is the father? He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the father. Mm -hmm. Is that not Bible? Mm -hmm. He said, if you've seen me, you've already seen the father. He hey. came to show you who the father was. Oh my God. See, that's powerful, right? And he says, I'm going to send the company. He's in every detail like me, but not me. He's in spirit form. Okay. And, 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 and he's going to, the things that I've done, okay. you're going to do, and even greater, because I go to the Father. Okay. So, so, so watch this. Jesus came to show you who the Father was. Okay. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit came to show you who Jesus was. Okay. Ah, and, and watch this. And he did it in a way that we can walk in his blessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, see, look, look, look. We make church hard. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Y'all, we make it hard. This is why I wanted you to go to Galatians. Because we're supposed to be one mind and one body. We make it hard. We make it hard. First of all, we're trying to straddle the fence. Which one are you going to be? Are you going to deal with the law? Or are you going to be in grace? <laughs> Amen. Now y'all read this just like, I look, this has been in the Bible all this time. Mm -hmm. I ain't put nothing in there. That's my money for the day. I ain't put nothing in there. <laughs> but listen, Jesus said, look, look, look. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn. He says, learn. Of but, yeah. He said, it's easy. How is it easy? Because he took but, the performance base out of the way. Mm -hmm. but, and listen, even those that come against you, the yeah. born again believer that comes against the born again believer. Notice what he said. I'm going to deal with them. You don't even have right. to kick back. You don't have to clap back. All I need you to do is be one with me. Let me, let me be who I'm going to be. Yeah. I got it. I just want you to walk in the blessing. Mm. Is anybody on here just ready to walk in the blessing? Walk in the blessing. Because see, this is what he's trying to do. Amen. See, when we can become one mind and one body, we can walk in the blessing. Okay. Nothing will be uh, could be withheld from be what you desire to do. Mm -hmm. I advise y'all to come to church on okay. Sunday. We're going to be dealing with the law of the mind. We're going to be dealing with the subconscious mind. We're going to be dealing with the conscious mind. We're going to be dealing with the mind of Christ. And we're going to be dealing with the mind of the Lord. We're going to understand. Okay. How did we maintain this? See, it's all about being one mind. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, let me let me let me find it. Let me find it. Oh y'all, y'all pulling on me. Y'all pulling on me. I feel it. You mean to tell me it's this easy? See, it can be this easy because God is just that good. Yes. <laughs> it ain't hard. He didn't tell y'all to do any flips. Anybody? Did you tell you doing the flip? Back flips? No. You know the form is here. <laughs> <laughs> In 16. Romans 8 and 16. Go to Romans 8 and 16. I'm going to show you something. Yeah. Romans 8. Yes, sir. Romans 8 and 16. <clears throat> something that's there. 
and then go to Romans 12 and 16. So we got Romans 8 and 16, and then we have Romans 12 and 16. Now, I believe that this is going to bless us all. And it just makes us worship God. What he desires is our worship. Okay? This is what the Father desires our worship. Jesus came to show us him and to leave us the Son that uh, leave us the Comforter, who shows us who the uh, who Jesus is, that we can worship him. It's all about honor and adoration. It's about worship. Okay? I want y'all to hear me. To extol God. This is about worship. Watch this. Look at what 16 says. Romans 8 and 16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. Yes. That's one, that's one line. Yeah. Are y'all in agreement with that? Yeah. Yeah. That Amen. we are the what? Children of God. One line. Are y'all in agreement with that? Yeah. Okay, let's go first. Let's go to um, 12 and 16. I'm trying to show you all this that I didn't make this up. But this is how we, the church, this is how Mount Olive, this is who we are. This is who we are. You. We're not doing any fight. All that fight is over. But, but you know what? But that's how the enemy comes into the church. The enemy comes into the church by, by that, trying to bring division. But God is saying, this is not how I call my church to be. Now look at this. Be of the same what? Mind. One toward another. One man. I'm going to tell you something. God, God called him. God called him. I don't care what nobody said. He got this thing figured out. And all we have to do is abide by it. Watch this. Okay. He says, mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own consent. Mm -hmm. own he says, I need you to just do one thing. Be of one mind. One toward another. Okay. See, a devil-minded man is unstable in all his ways. There can be no movement if we don't have one mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's no movement. And it makes, it makes it difficult and challenging for the deacons. Amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. it Amen. It's difficult and challenging for the pastor. Amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. It makes it difficult Amen. and challenging Amen. for the trustees. Amen. All the officers. Listen, if everybody in the choir wanted to leave, <laughs> everybody would have their own self too. Okay. I'm leaving that alone. Honey. I'm talking about. All right. Self agenda. Mm -hmm. See, let me, let me, let me. Can, can I go to the foundation of Mount Olive? Mount Olive came under a, a probably a brush tree, a uh, brush harbor, probably, you know, under a tree and they're simple to say, listen, we're going to come together in one mind, worship together in one mind to be the Mount Olive we are today. That was a hundred, it's going on 125 years ago. Mm -hmm. One mind and one body yes. that's where we are now. Now watch this. Now, in the midst of all of that, there was chaos. Amen, somebody. Okay. Chaos came Amen. in some of the years mm -hmm. because everybody had themselves their own agenda, which means that it, it, there was splits and divisions. Yes. But that day is over. That day is over because now we have one mind and there's growth now because it's all about him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. It makes the work of the deacon easy. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 This is why I always will tell you, if it ain't work, don't bring it to me. <laughs> and I advise Amen. you, y'all, listen to me. I advise you all to take this note. 
Because this is what I tell my children, and I teach this all the time. When somebody comes to you with some trash, you tell them that you're no trash can. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no trash can around here. What you right. got yeah. this for? Tell me about yeah. the goodness of God and how you can change things. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Lord, I, feel, I feel God all in this place. Mm-hmm. I feel God in him. Mm-hmm. We got to know how to utilize this word. Yes. Deacon's going home with headaches after church. The devil is alive. That day is gone. Mm-hmm. That day is gone. Mm-hmm. If we're going to believe in the word, let's believe in it. Yeah. Am mm-hmm. I saying that there's not going to come time that confusions and frustration going to come? No, I'm not saying it. Frustrations are gonna be, but how do you handle it? You handle it in one mind. Mm-hmm. The Deacon brothers came to me. They came to me. They came together in one mind. They came to me, and and and, and we conversated. Mm-hmm. They did it according to scripture. Mm-hmm. Y'all better listen to me. Mm-hmm. Amen. They came to me in one mind and one body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They came according to the word of God. Yes. Amen. There's no confusion when you can come according to scripture. All right. And that's all I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to teach you before you run your mouth. Mm -hmm. See what that word says. All right. right. Yes. See what that word says. And if you don't know what the word says, pull the deacon to the side. Deacon, you know, I'm dealing with the situation. I'm really trying to find the word because, because the pastor is teaching us that we got to do things different. Mm-hmm. We got to do things in line with one mind, with Romans 12 Man, and, and mind, 16. That we got to be in one mind with one another. All right. That's all Paul was talking about. Paul was talking about in Galatians, simply saying it just like this. He was saying that, listen, Jesus came to be the one mind. Mm-hmm. This is why the law could not stand when the seed came. Right. Because the law could not say <clears throat> The law could not bring one mind. Mm-hmm. Because the mind has, has everything to do with the heart. See, it's easy to act like you can love somebody. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I know all you married folk, y'all really love. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Amen, we are. Amen, we are. Amen, we are. But no, 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 no. Just joking. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying it like this right It's easy to, to be an act like. But you can you can hold up there. Right. Right. Your true colors are gonna show. Amen. And watch this. This is why Jesus, he did all that he did. He released the Holy Ghost. And he said, the Holy Ghost is inside of you. Now, he knows that there are moments that you would fall short of his glory. But that's why you made in the righteousness of him. See, see, even when you fall short, you made in the righteousness of God. See, it's not like Abraham. It was imputed to his righteousness. You're righteous. It's hard to even believe that it. I know it is. I, I know. But I didn't say it. He said. We're made of the righteousness of Christ. Remember, there in Ephesians 2 and 10, we're his workmanship. Right. If we're his workmanship, we his, not our own. Created in Christ. Mm-hmm. Go to Ephesians 2 and 10. It's there, I promise you. Created, we're his words. Created in Christ. Unto good works. And it's that unto right there. It's heaven in the Greek. And it means that's the distribution that he can hold the blessings of all us. Because of what he went through in the cross, 
the cross established. Sit us in heavenly places. Which is why when he says all power is given to you in heaven and in earth. Because guess what? We're seated in heavenly places. Mm. Mm. I'm going to tell you something. This is why I love it. <clears throat> Because when he came to take away burdens, he came to take them away. And my desire it is my desire that we can understand that we are to be reminded constantly that we have been baptized in his name. Okay. Well, baptism is good. Don't get me wrong. Yes, that need to be shown. That is a baptism. It need to be shown. But as we go to the water, we should be going to the water knowing that we're baptized in his name. Mm, right. In his nature, his character, and his authority. And that's and, and, and it's gonna Sunday Lord willing, when I began to deal with the law of the mind, it's gonna right. open up to understanding more because see the law of the mind, this is where Jesus deals with us. This is where the Holy Spirit deals with us. Which is why the enemy has come. Listen, right here, the battle. The battle is right here. Everything starts in the mind. Okay. The imagination. Hold on, let me find it in Corinthians. Let me find it in Corinthians. I want to see that. The second Corinthians ten four. I right there, there it is. Go to a uh, second Corinthians ten. So we're gonna read four and five because this is why the enemy is gonna come. Second Corinthians ten four and five. Let's look at it. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, carnal yeah. and physical, but not mighty not. through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down. Imaginations right there in your mind. Okay. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Okay. And watch this. There's a rest there. You're both run and shout. And bringing it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. That's right. The battle is in your mind. <clears throat> the enemy is going to deal with your mind. And what did he do? What does he do? He deal with your past. He will mess with you in your present. Mm, okay. And he will try to discourage your future. Amen. Okay. And it's all Amen. Right. Amen. And so watch this. <clears throat> and so Paul is saying in Galatians, oh my God, glory to God. He said in Galatians that you have the blessings of Abraham. Okay. Listen to what he said. You got to listen to Abraham. Your past is already blessed because you're standing in your present. Your present, oh, is blessed. Your future is blessed. Calling those things that be not yeah. as though they were. You are blessed. And anybody come up against you and say otherwise, I got it. That's it. I just need you to have one mind. Oh my God. I feel God. I feel the easiness. I feel the 
Jesus because he didn't make it. He didn't make sure to be as greedy as we're making. We're supposed to be a house of love. And you all are seeing everything that I'm seeing. We're supposed to come in, work with one. Not fight. No, no, don't get me wrong, but this, this is what the enemy does. You know? oh, man, he don't want us to be one man. So if he can get somebody, anybody, listen, he got into a six-year-old's mind. <laughs> Mm. Go on to school. A six year old. Amen. When I was six year old, I was crazy about my teacher. Probably had a crush on her. Oh. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and he takes a six year old, a six year old. See, see, listen, you all. This is why the church has to be one mind. Because we got to come together and pray against this hell. Mm -hmm. It's got to be one mind. And while the enemy is trying to bring strife in here, if they can get distractions here, he's got six-year-olds carrying on. Yeah, he did it. Well, 7 and 14 of, of a chronicle says, we got to see this face of right. Turn from wicked ways. Said, you'll hear from him. He'll heal the lame. Okay. I wonder sometimes do we believe that. That hurt my whole body. Six-year-old. 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 This is what Paul. This is what Paul was talking about. Okay. Paul was telling us that we walk in the blessing. Jesus told us in Matthew, the Great Commission, how to walk in the blessing. That's me, that time in this <laughs> So we have what we need. But we have to look at getting on the God. It's being one. Okay. That's what the enemy don't want. But all we need. I would have come so far. Churches. I don't know if I told you all this, but over COVID, there were over 100 Church of God in Christ with those closed in Texas. Okay. There were about 25 in Little Rock that doors closed. Those are just the ones that I know. Okay. I see we should be shouting. 125 <clears throat> years of that. We can put in the record books that we survived COVID. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, we, we have a reason to say. This is how we walk in the blessing. We walk in the blessing <clears throat> by understanding that we've been baptized in his name. That's the imagination we're supposed to continue to have. Will there be moments that you fall short? Absolutely. But as you hear me say before, we don't fall backwards, we fall forward. Okay. That's why David would say a just man fall a second time, but he did up. Because he recognized why he failed and then who 
is they can. It's going to happen. And then listen to them. See, if we have the mind of God, we don't have to try to operate in our own way. In fact, Does that make sense? Yes. Because we have the mind of God. See, this is how we can really, we can literally walk. Okay. This is how we can literally walk and not worry about doing wrong. Because the Holy Spirit will speak to you. Okay. He will convict you. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, allow you to repent, which means to turn away from that and go the other way. Right. Amen. Amen. Preach it, Pat. Amen. Amen. This is the power that God has given. The Holy Ghost. <clears throat> and you all have it. It was activated when you said, Lord, I believe. Okay. From that moment when you said, I believe, Lord, I believe in your death, burial, and resurrection. Amen. Amen. It Amen. was ignited in your life. Yeah. And watch this. And this is what I love. Watch this now. And because you fear God, now read this, I'm showing you this in scripture. <clears throat> because you fear God, the Bible says that it leads your children, the inheritance of the earth. Mm -hmm. right. Man. Mm -hmm. You see, see, God is a God of generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got, I, I, I got to show y'all this. I got to show y'all this. See, this is how, look, your walk with Christ can deliver yeah. your child. Yeah. That's power. Yeah. Now, that's power. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it to you in scripture. Yeah. I don't want you to look at me and say, oh, he's making it up. Who can you? Go to Psalms 25 and 20. These are the things you need to highlight. If I give you these scriptures, you need to be highlighted because these, this is your prayer. You can go here and you can read this. If you're looking for your children, if you're looking for deliverance among your children in your prayer time, you recall these scriptures to God because he cannot say no to himself. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. Amen. He can't Amen. say no to himself. Amen. Look at this. Psalm 25 and 12. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall, man, look, God shall teach him in the way that he should show. That he should show. What was it, Pastor? Psalm 25, 25 and 12. Okay. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul, oh my God, shall dwell at ease. Now see that B clause, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And his seed shall inherit the earth. Amen. Amen. Your reverence for God delivers. And send a blessing to your children. Amen. And that's Bible. Right? But. And you and you and in your prayer time, if you're struggling, if something is dealing with you, <clears throat> if, 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 if you're having a way with child, whatever it is, you got to call God to his word. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what he meant in Malachi when he said, prove me. Y'all notice that? Yeah. yeah. See, it was nothing, it was nothing yeah. about the time. Oh my okay, okay. Y'all looking at me strange and vegan. It's good. <laughs> it's on the 738. We're gonna walk this word. Go to Malachi. I'm gonna show you something. Malachi. Malachi 3. Yes, sir, D. Malachi yes, sir. 3 and 9. Malachi 3. Got you. Nine and ten, and I'm going to break this down. It was this. It was never about the time. 
I'm going to show it to you in scriptures. Watch this. Tithe was a, was a context. It was never about the tithe. Let me give you the breakdown. Whenever you get a chance, you read another guy. One, you'll find out why God cursed him. One, they, the, the chain, first of all, the Levites had changed. Romans had put people in the place that didn't supposed to be there. So they were putting uh, tainted showbread uh, uh, in the holy place. They were bringing lame to be sacrificed. Mm. Mm. All right? So they were defiling the temple. Mm. Yes. So as it reads on, and you'll read this, as it reads on, he said, I'm going to curse you with a curse. <laughs> now watch this. That's the context. Okay? That's the context. He says, ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me. He's talking about the temple. Even this whole nation. Because the Levites knew they should have fought not to allow the Romans to be in the temple. They supposed to be uh, 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 of, of the sons of Levi, sons of El. Okay, all right. Now look at what it says. He says, you curse for the curse, right? Okay, look at 10. He says, bring me all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now. The only way that this curse is going to be lifted up is that you bring something that's important to you. Give me the first of it. Mm -hmm. Then he says, that that may be in my house and prove me now here with you. Now here it is right here. Said the Lord of hosts. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. If I will not open you, you, the window. Y'all just missed it. He didn't say open the windows of heaven. The windows of heaven. <laughs> he says open you. See, God worked through humanity. He worked through me. You are I could be. You are the window of heaven. Whatever I buy no man. <laughs> Whatever I buy no man. We bound in heaven. Why? Because hey. He said, I'm going to open you the window. Open you the window. Hmm. It's in the text. Y'all see that, right? Now you understand the context of it. See, it was still all about you. What God was doing for you. Mm -hmm. How he's going to use you. Mm -hmm. Y'all have anybody have any questions on that? It's right there in the text. God said he wants us to be a one mind. These are things that he did in order for us to be a one mind. He sent his son. This is how we can be. This is how we can. This is how heaven is coming to us. Let thy kingdom come. And thy will be done. How is that? Because he's going to open you. The window. <laughs> Y'all see that? Ooh, I feel God in this place. I feel God in this place, Lord. He wants you to know that you're special. And that no situation that, that comes up against you can win. Amen. It can win. Because you got the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost. I'm opening the door for questions. I'm opening up the door for questions. Any questions? Give us more examples of the Holy Ghost. Give us more examples of the Holy Ghost. When I was studying, I, I, I believe that the word might came up a few times that we might receive the blessing. That we might. 
find the scripture. Got to get the context. Find the scripture. Y'all already know. And, and you've heard me before. Get that scripture. Because I do. I want us all to, to understand. Okay. Um, in the third chapter of uh, Galatians, the 24th verse. Yes. Gotcha. When we talked about the schoolmaster. That's one place I saw it. Mm -hmm. Also in verse 14. Okay. When it says Christ redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles. I was just curious as is there any reason why I wouldn't? Is it saying my or am taking that the wrong way? Very good question. Yeah. Did y'all hear her? Did y'all hear? You didn't hear? Ask the question again because uh Deacon and Sister Clayton did not hear, and I want you to be able to recite. I'll ask that question again. And speak, speak into the uh, microphone. Okay. Um, what I was saying was that a couple of, in a couple of scriptures, the word might is shown. Um, one of them was in the third chapter of Galatians, 24th verse, when it talks about um, the law was our guardian to bring us to Christ. That we might be justified by faith. In the fourteenth verse, that same chapter, it talks about a blessing was given to Abraham that it might come to the Gentiles. And I was wondering, since it said "might," is there a time or reason that it would not come or, or come to to be true or whatever? Might. Might is not in the context of our English vernacular, as in, as in suppose that it may. Okay, it's it's not in that same context. Okay, it's saying in it that it will be. Greek is different. Greek is different. Okay, yeah. Not as supposed that this may happen, but it will be. Okay. Yeah, you know. And so, and that's, that's, but very good. Very good. Greek has phrases that some kind can trip us up. And that's one of them. That's a very, very good question. Okay. Very good question. Thank you. Thank you for being a uh, um, tenant in that. I'm going to. It's almost in the sense as, as in this context, it's almost as if you're empowered to be justified. That you're empowered, right? You know? Um, yes, empowered. You know? So we have to be we have to be careful. And, 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 that, and there's a lot in there. Right. And, and you all, and let me say this modest point. That's right. Whenever you're reading scripture and you may see an italicized word, mm -hmm. that's not original. Right. Okay. Translators put it in to, to try to make it make sense. Sometimes it does, and then sometimes it doesn't. But the reason that it's italicized is that it's there. That you know, that shows you that this isn't the original writing. So I want you all to keep that in mind because sometimes, man, those italicized will it will make the word an error. But not that the word contradicts itself. That's the reason why they God said, Listen, you italicize this to let it be known that this is not my word. <laughs> but it's just to make it 
the translator made it make you understand. And, and then you got to think about doing that time as well. So we have a, a, a greater understanding and appreciation, uh, uh, you know, in the in the study of it. You know, we we know more, you know, now, uh, so we can understand um, the, the culture of, of the. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Give her the microphone. Give her the microphone. Is there a significance with the promises with an S and the promise, like 16 in Galatians 3, the promises were made to Abraham. And then in 19, Jesus comes to whom the promise was made. Okay, hold on. I said it again. Oh. Okay. In 16, the promises were made to and you know what? Let me look at my Bible because I was taking notes. Okay. 16 says, now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. And then in 19, it says, wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of the transgression, transgressions till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. One is talking about Jesus. Right. With promise. Okay. The promise is, 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 is the blessings and the curses. Thank you. That's right. That's what that is. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Anyone else? Anybody online here? I know we didn't get a chance to get to the conclusion of the message. Maybe we'll start off with that. I tell you what, we're not going to have home. We're not going to give you home. Yes, I am. I, I don't know why. I just couldn't give you home. Isn't that something? I thought you were sorry. No, I'm sorry. I had to give you home. Okay. Okay, here we, here we go. This is what I want you all to look at. And this is going to take some writing. You all are going to have to email this to me. Okay? It's going to take some writing. Uh, hold on, hold on. What? 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 Did you, did you, sister Love me? I'm in the eye. I want you to have a conniption. I'm, I'm breathing right now. I'm breathing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. You, you may have to email this to me. But I want there to be a diagram made of 16. Uh, Galatians 3 and 16. I really want you to take your time and look at it. Now, I've been speaking about it the last couple of, uh, really, the last couple of weeks. And even before then, I spoke about it. And I spoke about it actually today. It says, now to Abraham and his seed. I want you to write a diagram about this word. I want you to show me who's who. Who's being spoken about. Show it to me. If you draw it, fine by me. Now to Abraham and his seed, what are the promises made? To Ab the key, and this is really the main one right here. Now, to Abraham and his seed. Who is his seed? Were the promises made. And he said, not unto seeds as of many, but as of one. And to thy seed, which is Christ. I want you all to do a diagram today. If you need any help, you can always call me. I, and, and this is the purpose of this, you know. It's not just to give you home, but uh, the purpose is to allow us to understand okay. the, the, the strength of this chapter. Mm. This 16 clarifies the strength of this chapter. Every chapter 
Y'all keep me quick. There's a verse in there that carries the strength of it. Okay? This carries the strength of it. <clears throat> To understand this, you'll understand all the Galatians. You'll understand all the ways. So I'm giving you, this is something I would normally give my students in, in class. So uh, we are all in class. So uh, like I said, if you have any questions, if you have any, well, Pastor, you are good. Am I going in the right direction? Of course I'm, because I want you to know. Uh, hey. But I think it's going to be good to get with your wives. Um, you know what, call some, y'all can work with it together. Um, the, the important thing is oh. one mind. One mind. Yes, ma'am. You said Galatians 3 and 16? 3 and 16, yes. Okay, and then Sister Jody has a question. All right, Sister Jody. Yes, I have a question. I've, now, I've been watching that. I watched this. I've been watching some of these uh, videos on what the Seventh Day Adventists believe about those who have died in the Lord? They believe that some of them are like they believe that they're not in heaven. But I don't agree with that because I back it up with Second Corinthians five verse eight. We are of good courage. I say, and prefer rather to be absent from the body is to be home with the Lord. Amen. 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 And it's so good that you're a woman of God that you're able to go to scripture. That's the key. That's, that's your strength. And I'm proud of you. We're proud of you. You know, that you can stay rooted and ground in the word of God. Because that's what it takes. Bless you. Bless you. Anyone else? Pastor, I have one more. Does everyone have your email address since you want them to email you their homework? Yes, my email address mm -hmm. is Sydney L. You probably put it in the chat. Yeah, he gave it to us last week, but I guess, oh, he put it in the chat again. Okay. So, cool. That's it. Again, you all. If that was, if you don't think you keep going in the right direction, man, this is not a truth. I don't want anyone ever think because I believe that the word of God, I believe this to be, he wanted to be known. I believe that to be understood. So we can be, we can walk uh, more than that. So this is not here. So again, that, that homework is diagram relations to oh. So if you want to get with somebody, call somebody, y'all work with me, do that. I encourage them. I do. I encourage them because you can you can make it together soon. All right. Y'all not too bad at home. Okay. I hope you're not upset. I promise you, you're going to think that you face problems. <clears throat> I told one of my professors, I think God will get you born again. Professors. And this is what he told me. He said, Sydney, we don't do justice to the text. We can't defend it and then apply it. And that is all we stuck with. We have to be because we we are representatives. <clears throat> so what we have to do, this is something that we have to do. You have to be able to defend it. You have to be able to apply it. So, 
perhaps I will be a season, a regular season where probably will be for me. But I think that this is important. I want you to show me how you like it. I want you to know how much you love me. I know you know he loves you. Mm -hmm. But understanding what all the intricacies of his love allows us to worship. And I'm talking about not just when we get to church, I'm talking about when I get to church. But we can't wait to get to church just to worship. Mm -hmm. That's my desire. And that's his desire for us. Any other questions? Deacon Hall? Yes, sir. Take us out. I am here. All right. Bring us out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, Pastor. I was just listening and uh, I heard all that background. So I was waiting for you to finish, but I figured you was flipping pages. Okay. Anyhow, right. if all minds are clear, yes. we'll go before the Lord in prayer. Eternal God, now, Father, we thank you for this evening study. We hope that something was said or done here that was pleasing and acceptable in your sight. We ask, O Master, that you would continue to crown our head with more wisdom, knowledge, and a better understanding of how to seek and serve you. Yes. We ask, O Master, that you would anoint Pastor Miller with a fresh yes, anointing. Lord. That he may teach and preach yes, your Lord. word the way that you would have him to. Yes, then, Lord, Lord, we ask that you would touch our hearts and our minds. Yes. That we may learn of you. That we may be better men and women for that. Yes. We thank you, old master, that you've let us come together this evening. And now that we are about to leave and go home to our yes. several destinations, we ask that you would be with us, Lord. Keep us safe from all danger, seen and unseen. Yes. Continue to bless the sick and the afflicted among us. Comfort the bereaved. Lord, we pray a special prayer for those who are less fortunate than us. We yes. ask that we bless them this evening. Bless them with food and shelter, Lord. For you said you would be a rock in a weary land and water in a dry place. So we are depending on you to yes. do everything that you said. Dear yeah. Lord, we just ask that you would touch us. Yes. Be with the heads of our country as yes, they Lord. struggle. Touch hearts and minds that they may do those things that are pleasing and in your sight. And we'll be ever mindful to give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory that you right to deserve. It's in the mighty yes, name Lord. that we pray and ask it all. Amen. Amen. And thank God. Amen. 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 Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.